good morning and once again you catch me in my pajamas tomorrow we have uh some of the south african cricket team coming for supper um uh, richard thought they'd invited us for a podki uh but actually they'd invited themselves for a podki which is fine by me because they don't have a house because they're obviously visiting um so i'm now trying to think of a recipe idea so this is the second um, part of my podki making tutorial whatever so in the meantime because last time i just did a generic one i found this book online which is really quite good um it's can you see it it's uh podki for two by rolf and uh, bookers yeah bookers and um it's it's written by a south african uh, the English is a bit difficult to understand, but it's a lot easier than trying to understand it in Afrikaans. So, I've had a look through it, and one of the best recipes I can find is Wildpodk, which is a wildebeest podki. <coughs> so, being um, a little bit, sort of, hopeful, I contacted the waitress and said, I don't suppose you've got any wildebeest? And, obviously, the answer was no. Uh, so, the alternative is to have venison, and uh, the very kind manager went and had a look and he had just about enough venison to make it work. So I've asked them to set that aside. Um, now I'm going to get dressed and uh, make my way to Waitrose and pick up our wildebeest come venison. And I shall catch up with you later as I prepare the wildebeest.